Greetings, Internet, and welcome to Aaron Plays, and I hope you're doing fantastically well. This will be episode five of my um, Alien Empires, Space Empires playthrough, um, where I'm playing against two Alien Empires, and I'm playing at the hard level, which means they get 10 construction points for every economic role. So if you could look, do the, you can see the little button there, do the like and subscribe to my channel, that'd be brilliant, and uh, any comments would be much appreciated. But let's go to the map. So I'm playing the yellow. Um, there's four prior episodes. You can see how I got to this stage. Um, we have an alien fleet from the Altarians on the way through. And their target is Vega. Vega. And we now have a alien fleet from the Terrans on their way. And I'm assuming that their target will be Aslak. So I better put a little... I mean, I'm using... Um, is it one of these? No, hold on, I'm trying to work out which mark facilities. Uh, was it one of those? Yeah, one of the, oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, to mark their targets. More was an aid memoir for me to remember where they're, they're on their way through. So, yeah, I've currently got a cruiser, about three, maybe four. No, it, it is three scout ships and that's about my fleet size at the moment technology wise well i've researched ship size so i can have cruisers and i have now have exploration technology so i can explore with actually taking a risk of going into a hex um but i do need to, i've got i've still got four planets and the barren planet needing to be developed as soon as possible okay we are, let me just bring up the turn track. I seem to have lost it. I'm trying to remember where all these little tabs are. Um, there we go. Looks like a little clock. And it disappears down there. So we are into the fifth economic phase. Remember, each economic phase has three turns. The first turn of the economic phase and player one, which is me. Um, we don't have to bid. Now, we know that they've got technology movement two so they'll be moving one hex one hex then two one hex one hex then two so they can't get to one hex one hex then two they can't yeah get to my planet this turn but we've got incoming they're going to get to vega sorry this economic fate sequence so i've got yeah i'm fighting a two-front war so what do i need to start thinking about building a response here. We know this is a tiny fleet coming through from the um the Terrans. It's only got 10 points spent on it. And this is a 20 point spend on that fleet there. So lots to think about, lots to do. And now we have to say over here we have where's me other scout ship? I've got one, two, three scout ships and a cruiser. That should that's got 20 points so that's either two destroyers or destroyer and two because they have four destroyer and two scout ships don't know but we need to face them um so yeah so we're in the movement phase where it's movement combat exploration so i'm going to bring this miner hmm, where's the best place for him to come Probably back to my home planet. Could we clear the, the mines here? Uh, yeah, no, we'll actually, we'll bring it to Vega with the five minerals, which you then lay claim to. So that'll be in the production for next time. We've got a colonial ship here. We need to get these expanding here, so we'll move that into Benden start um the acclimation of or the colonization of Benden. We've also got one spare MS pipeline over here in on our capital planet, Homeworld, and he's going to move into Draconis and then into the asteroids. Following the pipeline they get an extra movement point. Because I want to get that placed into Aslak as soon as possible. Then now we actually get into what are we going to do? 
Okay, now we know that our cruiser has got exploration technology. So let me double check on the rules for that. Okay, so we're allowed to look at one of these unexplored markers before we move. So we're going to have a look at, um, remember I'm using this as my marker, and we're going to have a look at this one um, by that cruiser. So let's just flip that. Oh, there's danger. That's a good job we didn't move into that because that would eliminate any ship that moved into there. Now, um, it, none of these affect the alien fleet, so I might as well just remove that. Um, there we go. Okay, so that's the cruiser. So he's got still move technology once, so he might as well move into Tempe. And we'll send the scouts into X. He'll join them there, and he'll join them there. So that's my fleet at Tempe. Okay, we've moved the miner. We've got the miners. We've got the minerals. That's the target. I think everything else is done. Yeah. Okay. So I will clear that. We've got no other exploration. I'm not going to explore um, with my scout ships now that I have a cruiser on the board. Um, so that's me done. Moving over now to the alien 2. So we know his target is a colony He's now one, two, three, four away from Haldir and one, two, three away from Code up again, haven't I? Vega. There we go. Um, so he's still got a target Vega. Um, and the only way place he can actually go is into I4. Because that'll see one, two, three. One, two, yeah. That's his only option. The bringer of fear enters there. That's them done. Okay. So then the I3, which is the Terrans. Now, we're giving them the target of Aslak, because that's a, so let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Aslak. Okay. Um, and then one, two, three, four, one, two. He could go into H12 or I12. So one, two, three, it's H12. Nope. The Frontier Fleet goes into I12. There they go. Remember, they got move technology two. So the first hex and the second hex, they move one, but the third turn, they can actually move two spaces. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> we know it's only a small fleet, but it's a bit risky. Okay. Um, we are now into turn two, player one. That's back to me. Right. Okay. I think. If we can engage the bringers of fear in I4, but let's have a look at the scout ship. Um, where's my cruiser? That one goes there, that one goes there. Yeah, my cruiser can. Oh no, I'm not allowed to. Oh, that's true. I'm not allowed to look at the deep space marker if there's an alien fleet on it. Because it says something I went to have done that beforehand. Equally devils. Um, yeah. A player may not move into a hex with an AP fleet and an unexplored system marker. If you wanted to move there, you should have explored it before the AP reached the hex. All right. Ah, the hex can still be explored by an exploration technology. Okay. Cool. So I can do that. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that's what my cruiser will do. He'll have a look at that. Um, use exploration technology is an asteroid. Well, we might as well. Okay. Uh, well, if I engage with asteroids, my cruise is going to be nullified straight off. So let's flip it. And can I then replace with tile? I'm not going to engage them there. Now, they still want to get to Volga, to Vega. They're going to have to come through my fleet. I'm not going to attack them. Um, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, they're not going to go. Yeah. All right. Let's mass my fleet there. Mass. Wow. All five ships of it. Mass. 
Okay, so we miner has brought that. Now we want to get him working these fields. So he can move two hexes per turn using the pipeline. So he'll go into there and into there to get up to those fields there. Okay. The other MS pipeline that we had here, the spare, now comes over into ASLAC and becomes connected. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think colony ships happy at Benden. Our fleet's awaiting the enemy. So we'll be the defenders. Um, I'm just thinking, will it change its target to, to Haldir? It's undefended, but that's still undefended. It just happens to have my fleet in the way. Can he get, and it will, it won't take, um, it will still try to get there in this economic cycle, which it can do. If it couldn't get into it in this economic cycle, it would probably change to Aldir, which he can't get into until the next economic cycle. So I'm just making sure it hasn't, doesn't change its target, which it doesn't. So we are waiting for them, and then we'll be the defender. Okay. I think that's everything of mine done. Over to the bringer of fear. And as we just worked out, they come into here. And I'm going to transfer all that to the battle board. Um, send to battle board. There we go. And then we get the battle marker there. And then we go to the battle board. Okay, so the bringer of fear fleet has got... 20 points to spend, but he can't increase any of his technology because he has no tech traits to spend. Now, with 20 points to spend, we know they have ship size 2. We have to now determine, do they go for largest, well, largest fleet or largest ships? Now, if they go for largest fleet, they'll probably build scout ships. If they go for largest ships, they'll build destroyers. So, this is a D, D10. One to three is the largest fleet, and then we'll take the modifiers from there. So what do they roll? They roll a nine. They're going for largest ships. So that was on the seven to ten. If the fleet composition is largest ships, um, they will be spent on purchasing the largest ships available, which are, for them, because on a ship size two, is destroyers. Destroyers are nine points of pop, so they will buy two destroyers. Okay. Okay. And there's the board. So... We'll be firing with a cruiser. Then they've got two destroyers up be firing. Now, that will cost them 20, uh, 18 points. They've got two points left. So I cross that points off, and that adds two points back onto their fleet total. So they're now on 13 on their fleet total because they had one left from the previous fleet. So um, I've still got four ships to their two, so it's two to one. So I get a plus one on my attack values. So my cruiser one will be attacking on a five, and then these will be attacking on fours, and he'll be defending, or he'll be attacking on fours. Okay, so we will start with my cruiser on a five to hit. A two, that's a hit. Takes that down to one already. Excellent. Okay. Now... I'm going to have, uh, it says play these as intelligently as possible. Is a point firing at this? He can take two hits. If there have been two left, then it might have been. But no, he'll take try and take out one of these um, scout ships. So he needs a four to hit. D10, there it is. A rolls a two. He takes out one of my, I oh, will take out the highest numbered one. Okay, so we send him, return to center player hand. Then I got two lots of four to take out him. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Boom, boom. It's that quick. Um, so the player's hand. Can't delete it. No. Okay. The other ship didn't get to fire. Doesn't matter. So return to the board. Uh, no, send it where's return to map. There we go. Return to map. And return. So we successfully held off two of their fleets. Now they return there. I might as well click the battle board just to return to battle board. Phew. 
a successful defense. We lost the ship. Okay. Um, we then go to player three, the Terrans, still on the way to us, so they could go into I-11 or J-12. So one, two, three, it's I-11. Yeah, there he goes there. Now we say we know next activation or next turn, they will go two hexes. Clears that. Player, right, so third turn, player one. Okay, so we know we're safe from Altair for a, a short while, so it might be now time to move my fleet as quickly as possible over to this side. Suppose the advantage of internal lines. There we go. Fully exploited. So we're going to use the, oh, we're not starting on a pipeline, so we can't get the advantage of a pipeline. Hmm. So we can only go one hex this turn. Hmm. Well, we might as well go on to Vega. Um, that's me, fleet all combined. Have we got any other ships that can, you know, the mining ship, he can now, he's still on the pipeline. So he will go to there. He's not going to get anything back this turn, so he might as well go as far as he can along the pipeline. And I think that's it. The colony ship's ready to develop a colony. My fleet is on its way, because next turn it can go one, two to there. One, two. Hmm. It's not going to get there, is it? Hold on. So next turn. Oh, this is... Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so this turn, that's going to get to let's say here or here then we have the production then we have the first turn my fleet will get to home planet we're not going to get there i right, poo can't even produce anything that quickly to get there I can build a base. I could build a base. I think a base can be built anywhere. Oh, oh does that get me out of it's not something I wanted to build. Um, but it would help more actually with the rules rather than the scenario book. Oh, just say, realize my base, my, my fleet ain't going to get there in time. Um, bases. Base counter represents defense systems designed to protect a colony from attack. Unlike suitable ships and groups, a base may be built at any friendly planet with an income-producing colony, not new or blockaded colony. Bases are not built by shipyards. Only one base may be built in a single hex, and no hex may have more than one base. Once in play, a base may not move. A base participates in combat just like a group, except that it may not retreat. Bases do not incur maintenance costs. I'm building a base then, isn't it? So is there any point with my fleet? Well, yeah, um, I need it to be ready to interact in both fronts now. And I say fleet, it's tiny. I think that's everything from myself done. Um, player one, player two hasn't got anything left on the board, which is useful. Okay. Player two, so nothing. Player three, right. Okay, so where does this nasty Terran fleet go? Um, it can now go through two, three hexes, two hexes. So it's still target is Aslak one, two. So I 10 or J 11, one, two, three, I 10. So no, it goes to J 11 and it's second hex. It can still go into J 10 or K 10, one, two, three, J 10. No, nope, it goes to K 10. There we go. Wow. Okay. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. If any of you know what that is, then you're obviously from this side of the pond. Okay. We're into the economic phase of well, the fifth ec economic phase. And it's over to my economy first. Right. Where is the economy? Uh, production? 
All right. So here's my production sheet. Um, we did I just want to make sure I put the, the claim on those minerals. I did. It's got the little claim symbol. So let me run and see how much we actually get now. Okay, so we carried over one from last time. We've got 40 from my colonies and my home world. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20. My colonies, 5, 10, 15, 20. Plus 20 from my home world. That's the 40. Uh, we've got five from that minerals that we playing there. That's right. And the MS pipelines is now four. So we've got all four colonies now connected. One there, one there, one there, one there. So that's four. Um, yay. All right. So, so that gives us a massive 50. Maintenance is four. Cruisers were I lost one of my scout ships, didn't I? Yes. So I've got my massive fleet is one cruiser and two scout ships. So made it to four, leaves me a total of 46 to play with. Right. How much is a base? As we just worked out, that's what I'm going to need. Okay. Uh, where's the base? Base, 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 base is 12. That's not too bad. That's not too shabby. Okay, we're definitely buying a base for that um, planet there. And now we're starting to get opponents over there. We're going to need some shipyards. So we at least need to build one shipyard over there as well. Remember, we can only gear these up one per time, uh, one step per um, cycle. So that's 18 of my 46. Okay. Do I need anything else? I still think we need another colony, at least. That's 26. It still leaves me 20. Now, colony-wise, I'm thinking we need to obviously start colonizing out here a little bit um, because that's where we've got planets. Remember, it's colonies produce income. Um, so that's 26. So now do I need to spend anything on technology? We know the Terrans have got... This is also obviously through our spy networks. So we know they still got 30 to spend on technology. I don't want to be the back the backward ones in the space area. So we're spending 26 on ships, one colony ship, one shipyard. One. There's actually no aggressive part of the fleet. I think we need a cruiser. Okay. That's 38 out of 46. That leaves me eight points. We're not getting any technology for eight points. I think it might be another MS pipeline then, isn't it? Let's see. If we get... Do we need additional mining yet? I think we need to get some income in. 43. That's 46. So we're not spending anything on technology this cycle. It's a bit risky, but I think we need to start generating a little bit more income. Yeah. Let me know in the comments section if you think this is wrong. Should I go for technology? Um, I definitely need a base, we, uh, ASLAC, because we know they, they, they're, they're coming in, in there. Um, no, they could change the targeting because ASLAC will make it dependent. But then I will have time to get my fleet to Valhalla. Or will I want to? Well, we're definitely going to build a cruiser in the home world. So, okay, we should be fine on that regard. Okay, I think that is it. So, yeah. So let me know what to say in the comments if you think that was eh, not such a good idea. So uh, we will hit, hit the commit. Hit the commit. There we go. It's done. It's done. So we've got 46 spent on ships. We need to get some minerals in. Woo. Remaining will be zero. 
I've got to do a reset first. Yeah, I had to do the refresh first. There's the ship spends. Now we press the commit. Move that out of the way. So what did I build then? Right, okay, so we've got a base. Don't, I can't even remember buying a base. Um, but we've done it now. So a base. And that will go and sit on Azlac. Don't want to cover the world up. So we'll stick that there. Um, flip it. So you can see, hit we're firing first. It's got an attack of seven. It's got defense of two. So it's going to be pretty tough for them to take out. Because they've only got a 10-point fleet. So I feel pretty safe on that. However, I'm not sure if it will then change targets to here. Because this is now a defended colony. Whereas Valhalla isn't. But they'll only go there once. And I'll get two moves to get to Valhalla. So, okay, so that's the first lot. Of, that was the first thing I built. I also built a cruiser, okay, which will go, and that was built at the capital of Viseri, the home world. Let's flip that. Okay, cruiser number two. Then we built a colonial ship. Uh, that's a non-military colonial ship. Where is it? Non-combat ships. There we go. Uh, colony ship. We built, we're going to build him at the um, Vega shipyards. Because that can build up two points worth. We built an MS. One of those things. We'll build that at Viseri shipyards. So that's three points out of the four that it can build. Because we want to get um, the Benden colony, which is going to be developed in a minute. And so we built one of those, and we built a miner. And again, he will be built. That's the four points that the Viserys shipyard can build. Um, and we built a shipyard to be built at Azlac as well. That is classed as a combat ship. Um, shipyard, there we go. I'll put that there for the moment. Uh, flip it over. And yeah, it's got just one of those at the moment. So, so we've got a base. We've got a shipyard. Notice that also has a combat value. So we've actually got two things that can to help in the Azlac. Oh, should I build that in Valhalla? She can build shipyards anywhere. This gives me a different... No, I'm going to get me... Um, okay, this is where... So this guy will go, if he goes, he can go there, and there he'll be in two rounds. These guys along the pipelines will go one to there, two to there. So they won't get to Valhalla if they redirect. So I will build a shipyard there because at least it's got some form of defense. Okay. Because um, this cruiser here will get one there, and yeah. Okay, so me. two front war. I need to increase my movement technology, but then I want to have any bought any ships. So let's just make sure I've got that. So cruiser on, shipyard on, base on, plane ship on, MS1 and miner on. Okay, we haven't exceeded any construction limit colonel ship yet. Yeah, we're fine. So I did the commit, so I can now close that down. Boom. Right. And then we will grow our colonies. Uh, oh, no, we've got to first. No, yeah, we grow the colonies. I don't think we actually have any to grow. No, nothing grew. And then we start a colonization of Benden. Okay. That's my production cycle done. We will now go to that's the Altarians. Okay. So um boom, 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 boom. let me close my production cycle book down. Bring up the alien ones so you can see what I'm talking about. So we go through what the aliens produce. All right. 
So looking at their sheets here. Right, so we're in the fifth economic cycle. They're still getting just two rolls. Quite like that, you can see there. Um, so let's see what they produce on their two rolls. A one and a ten. So on the fifth one, a one, they get an economic roll. Okay, what that means is three turns from now, they will actually get so we're on the fifth, so one, two, three. On the eighth, they will get three rolls plus a bonus one. That extra econ. So they'll get four rolls. So I'm going to mark that on my sheet here. So, so, so it's the eighth turn, they get plus one. That's not ideal. Does that mean obviously that's going to be their production at 40 okay per turn? And as you can see, it ramps up. Okay, then they rolled 10, which is another, that's a defense. So their defense has gone up to 40 now. They had 20 in for last time. They're getting 40 this time. So, yeah. They have, but they have, they have 13 points. So they could launch a fleet. Won't be a great fleet, but they could launch a fleet because on the fifth economics at one to three, they launch a fleet. Do they launch a fleet? No, no, no. The, 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 the message are coming back. They just received a drubbing. Okay, so now the same for the. Let's just move that over to the Terrans. Um, they are also on two rolls at the present moment, so it's using the same area. First roll, second roll. A three and a five, both are fleet points. So that's 20 dropping into fleet. Okay. So, and then do they launch that fleet, which is a one to three? They don't. Okay. So that's their actual cycle done. So as a, as a, um, I'll go through it. Well, I'll go through it with the actual sheet in the end of this turn. So that's them done there. Okay. Ooh, I just don't want to close that. I just want to minimize it. Drag that out of the, the screen. Um, we have just finished the whole of the fifth economic um, cycle and turns and such forth, ready to start the sixth. So let's bring this back up to me. Okay, it's starting to ramp up now, isn't it? So let me just bring this sheet, which we just nearly dropped on the floor. So the Altarians at the top there. Okay, so you can just see on that eighth turn, I've added that plus one in there. Ooh, there we go, in the economics there. So starting on the eighth turn, they will get four rolls. Okay, and they've now got 40 points in defense and still 13 here for a fleet, but they decided not to construct one. And both fleets they had have been knocked out, and they're still on um, ship size two, as the only text they were actually bought. Going down to the Terrans, okay, so they've got move two, which they spent 20 on. Um, their fleet has got 10 points. Okay, it's working backwards. I know I need to move this to my right. So if I move, there we go. I need to move, I've got, got a visualizing first, let's say it. They've still got 30 points in tech, and they've just spent tw got 20 points this time for their fleet. Um, they've got no economic rolls, and next turn they'll be starting to roll for three. Fix is three. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty much the end of the episode. Um, if you could like the video, that would be much appreciated if you enjoyed what I did. If you really enjoyed what I did, subscribe. And then do the little ding -a -ling. Anytime I put a video up, it'll upload. Uh, it'll let you know that I've done so. Um, and any comments, again, pointing out anything I might have missed in the rules, any sort of mistakes. Should I have bought more ships? Uh, or should I spend more on technology than ships? You know, building that base, is that a good idea? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if that will stop them looking at that colony. We'll find out in the next episode. But until then, remember to play games and have fun. Until next time. Bye, Internet. Go press the right button.